Today we are going to be taking a closer look into the cast of the One Piece live action Netflix adaptation. The goal of this video is to answer the question, can we trust these actors to bring these characters to life? Now of course this doesn't boil down to just how talented they are as actors, because as you will see, they are all very talented individuals. It also depends on if the producers and directors of the show lead them into the right direction. However, I think what I'm going to present to you guys today is going to ease your minds at least a little bit and bring a sense of optimism that you might have not felt before. It sure did for me. I also want to point out that this video is heavily inspired by Baby Lion Turtle's video on the Avatar live action cast, so make sure you guys check him out and go show him some support as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into it with our leading role, Anaki Godoy playing Monkey D. Luffy. Anaki Godoy is an 18 year old Mexican actor most known for his role in Who Killed Sarah and the upcoming Netflix show Inhumans. Otra vez! Respira! No te 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 no, por nada. Es que se estuvo quejando con mi papá. And here is another clip of him in the recent One Piece first look released by Netflix just last month. All right, enough talk. Roll the clip! Roll it! It's pretty clear that his energy, his voice, and even his personality mirror that of Luffy, a positive, obnoxious goofball who likes to make everybody around him laugh. Honestly, what more could we ask for? The next actor on the list is Makenyu Arata. This man is crazy. He hasn't been as active on social media, which many have attributed to Zoro getting lost, but it may just be that he's too damn busy. This young Japanese actor has one of the biggest portfolios out of all of the actors on this list. Here is a very well-known clip of him in Ruroni Kenshin. He does swordplay in real life, he's fit as fuck, and One Piece will not be his first live action rodeo. His portfolio includes Full Metal Alchemist, Rurouni Kenshin, Tokyo Ghoul, and even JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I personally can't wait to see him put on that green bandana. Let's move on to Emily Rudd, who is playing Nami, the extremely talented navigator of the Straw Hat crew. And Emily is extremely talented herself. Here is a clip of her in the movie Fear Street 1978, which is an amazing trilogy if you have some free time. It's only a matter of time before she ends up in jail or Work. Maybe she was on something. Man, come on. Why would Nurse Mary want to do something like that? I'm not going to blame everything on some fairy tale. Life sucks sometimes. I get that. I mean, God knows it's been hard. She also had a role in the movie Moonshot, which is also a pretty fun watch. So she looks like Nami, she's a talented actor, and she's a huge weeb, which is definitely an advantage if your job is to portray an anime character. Let's talk about Jacob Romero Gibson. Basically, what I think Oda did with his god powers is search through all the different dimensions to find the world's most attractive version of Usopp and then bring him here. Jacob is one of the most positive, uplifting personalities on the set of the show. Here is some clips of him from a demo reel. Do you know where I could maybe score some grass? Yeah! I'm invincible! Hello, thank you for calling Handy and Dandy Songs for Children. Please hold up. This is a universal story about good versus evil. So I don't understand why y'all so afraid of color. Oh, oh yeah. This is a melting pot, okay? Let's let's mix some things. Oh, whoa, shit. whoa! His portfolio includes The Resident and Underwater Dive Deep. He hasn't been in a shit ton of projects, but just like Anaki, I can tell that his energy is in the right place. The Taekwondo master, Taz Skyler, is playing the best cook in the world, Sanji. Similar to McKenyu, Taz Skyler has a huge portfolio. He is not only an actor, but an award-nominated writer. Let me just- I don't need your help. Neo! Let go, man. I'm just trying- It's to... blessed. It's not blessed. Look, my dad could come back any minute. Why are you acting like this? Like what? Like you're ashamed of what- I am ashamed of what happened! Answer me, what did you do to her? Sam, I need you to sit. <laughs> you're supposed to be my friend. I'm your counselor. No, you're not, you're a fucking liar! You need to calm down right now. I refuse to be spoken to like this. You were the only people who knew about me and her. He appears in various projects like Villain, The Kill Team, and most recently the cooking show, Boiling Point, where he is definitely refining his skills to be a straw hat chef. Also Taz, if you're watching this, we gotta spar some time. There are a lot of amazing artists out there doing amazing concept art for the different live action cast and the respective characters. I've collected the ones I know of and tagged them in the description. I really want to encourage everybody that's watching right now to go check them out. They are all super talented and deserve all of our support. Also shout out to Adam Jin Rakai in my Discord server 
server who drew my new profile picture. He did an amazing job. And also congratulations to Ariel who won this month's art competition in the Sunlight Alliance Discord server. Okay, next up is Morgan Davies as Kobe, one of the first appearances in the anime. They're an Australian film and television actor who is best known for their work in The Hunter, The Boyfriend Game, and The End. I shouldn't need anyone's permission. Not our parents, not doctors. You're in no position to moralize. The side effects of taking a hormone outside of proper medical supervision. What, like acne? Like voice deepening? Like heart disease, osteoporosis. So we'll drink some milk. Help the dairy farmers. Alongside Davies, we have Aiden Scott as Helmeppo, who has appearances in Action Point and The Kissing Booth too. If this clip from the short film Hand Off doesn't give you Helmeppo vibes, I don't know what will. Aren't they just you? I was thinking more resplendent, but yeah, beautiful works. Next, we have Jeff Ward playing Buggy D. Clown, who I remember most from popular Marvel show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You're in love with her. Sorry? <laughs> no. Uh, no offense, Mac, but... I think your radar is way misfiring. His snappy humor is exactly what we would need in a character like Buggy. Let's check out McKinley Belcher III, who has been casted as Arlong, another extremely talented actor who had an amazing performance in the thought-provoking television series, We Own This City. Here's a quick clip of him in another show, The Passage. How is any of this legal? It's not, is it? And this is on the up and up. You guys, you wouldn't be looking for prisoners to experiment on. We're in a desperate situation, Mr. Connor. So were you. I can't argue with that. I couldn't find any footage of him as an antagonist, but obviously he has the chops to pull it off. Next, we have the Ultra Chad Vincent Reagan playing Monkey D. Garp. This guy has been in a lot of movies. However, I want to present this scene from the street because I think it presents a really important dynamic with Garp's character, and that is the very real emotional internal struggle he has for his grandkids. <laughs> Up next is Aliyah Israelis Polino, who will be playing Alvida. She is an extremely talented singer and actor who was in a recently well-received HBO Max series, The Sex Lives of College Girls. I couldn't find any acting clips of her online, but I know Randy Troy has a great clip of her in his video, so I highly recommend you guys go checking that out. I'll leave a description in the link below. I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description below. <laughs> Peter Gaddio, a British actor who had a fantastic performance in the TV series Yellow Jackets, an amazing show by the way, was confirmed to be playing Shanks in the live action. Okay, um, as much as I would love to believe you finally want to get to know me, why don't you tell me what this is really about? Are you trying to catch me lying about things? Because I swear it was just a stupid Pratt thing. It's a crazy thing to lie about. Well, <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. But the rest of it, Shauna, us, he definitely looks the part, and I cannot wait to see him put that straw hat on Luffy. Mihawk, Shanks' bestest pal, will be played by Stephen John Ward, who also looks very similar to his character. Here's a short clip of him in a KFC commercial, and I really want you guys to pay attention to his very mellow voice. Dude, is that a tie? <laughs> Where are we going? Home. Dude, it's Friday night. Come, come, turn in here. One crunch burger, please. Honestly, with the voice and the looks, I can see it. Next on the list, we have Craig Fairbrass as Chef Zeph, who, like a lot of the other actors, also looks very visually similar to their character counterpart. Craig is definitely no stranger to playing action roles or roles in general. The dude is like 80 plus credits to his name. His portfolio includes Cliffhanger, Villain, A Violent Man, and Rise of the Foot Soldier. You are a substantial amount on your bar bill. Come over to the bar with me. We'll settle it up and use two and carry on with a lovely evening. What do we know? I'll come over after if I feel like it. What are you waiting for? Did I stutter before or what? 
Another cool note to add is that he and Sanji already have a professional relationship together from their time in the movie Villain. Following that, we have Alexander Maniatis, who is playing the captain of the Black Cat Pirates, Clahador, or most commonly known as Captain Kuro. In the casting picture, he kind of looks like he's about to do that thing that Kuro does, you know, like when he lifts his glasses with his palms. He's known for Warrior and Sarase Gahai. I couldn't really find much on him, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Honestly, if you guys have anything to add, please comment down below. Now to the first Marine captain we get introduced to in the series, Captain Morgan, who is being played by Langley Kirkwood. This South African actor has been acting since high school and has a long career in the film industry. Some of his work can be found in movies like Warrior, Banshee, and Black Sails. I could have made you rich, and you blew it for what? 30 grand? Sir, I swear. No! You've been a soldier. You wasted every opportunity you ever had. You disappointed everyone who ever took a chance on you. It's what insubordinate assholes like you do best. You Next, we have Kayoma Umela, who will be playing Nami's beautiful sister, Nojiko. She is most known for her work as Ayo on the TV show Isono. Here is a short clip of her showreel, which can also be found on YouTube. Let's go back to the beginning, to the place that reminds us who we are and all we can be. Let's remember simpler times when hope connected us to a place we are yet to go, but we've always known. It isn't too much to go off of, but I'm still rooting for her and I think she's going to do great. The actor playing Kaya, Usopp's friend and potential future love interest is Celeste Lutz. Like Kayoma, she's also a fairly newer actor, but again, let's just all be positive and encourage them to kill it on set. A few more casting mentions for those who don't know are Len Barry Simmons as Chu, Amor Hasak as Moody, and Lindsay Reardon as Mayor Brutal. And thanks to the amazing reporters on the One Piece live action Discord server, Hello Again and Darth, we now know that the young Nami, young Sanji, and Shimotsuki Dojo cast members have been revealed. Young Nami will be played by Eva McDooling and Young Sanji by Von Smith. If you guys are looking for updates right as they come out, I highly recommend joining the One Piece live action Discord server. I left the link in the description. I'm sure we're gonna get more casting announcements in the future because we still don't know who's gonna be playing Gin, Don Krieg, Hachi, Smoker, Johnny, Yasaku, Dragon, or even Roger. They may be saving those last two to be honest. So a lot to look forward to in the coming months. In conclusion, I personally think that the casting announcements have been amazing so far. It's important to remember that Oda himself has a hand in this process, and that the showrunners are not choosing these actors because they're A-list actors, but because they were the people who auditioned and portrayed the character the best. I recently put out a very informative video on everything we know about the One Piece live action, so if you want to know more, definitely click this video right here.